I've been seeing some short videos come up showing the construction of rustic wood American flags. Most of the videos that I've seen were time-lapse videos and weren't very descriptive on the process. So I figured I would make a video and provide a little bit more information. To give you an idea of what to expect, the cost of materials is about $40 for this project. What you're gonna need is five two by four by eights, a can of polyurethane, and red, white, and blue paint. So not everyone knows this, but the correct aspect ratio for the American flag is three by five. In addition, the American flag has 13 stripes, one stripe for each of the 13 original colonies. And cutting the two by four by eight into three equal length pieces will give you three 32 inch pieces. And the actual thickness of a two by four is one and a half inches. So 13 pieces stacked, one for each of the stripes, gives you 19 and a half inches. So you'll end up with an American flag that is 32 inches by 19 and a half inches, which is almost a perfect three to five aspect ratio. So let's go out to the garage and get started. All right, so here are the tools that I'll be using for the project. I have an angle grinder, sander, 220 and 120 grit sandpaper, some clamps, top saw, and a chainsaw. First I'm going to start cutting all the 2x4s in the 32-inch section. Next thing you want to do is stack your 2x4 side by side and clamp them together tightly. We'll start using the chainsaw first and then we'll use the grinder to smooth out those cuts. And then we'll use the sander to do the final finish work. Take a break for now. Some thunderstorms rolling in. And basically today I'm going to try to round off these edges, make them a little bit smoother. And let me show you. I kind of drew some lines here how I want the flag to flow. Now I have the majority of the ridges cut out. Now I'm gonna switch over to the grinder and start smoothing it out. Okay, grinding's done. Semi-smooth. Now I'm gonna start hitting it, hitting it with 120 grit sandpaper. And once I get it, once I get it rounded off enough, then I'll smooth everything out with some 220. It'll be ready for paint. Alright, so the sanding's complete, now I'm getting ready for paint. But before I separated these, I flipped it over and I drew a line down the center, just as an extra reference point for alignment. And I labeled each piece, either R or W, red or white. And then I also numbered the pieces from 1 through 13, so I know how to uh, reassemble.
Now we're going to glue all the pieces together. I cut a channel around the back. It goes all the way around. We're going to mount some LED lights all the way around it so it's going to be backlit. Now I'm going to start working on the stars. I'm going to print out a stencil on my computer, cut out the stars, and then use the paper as a stencil. what the back side looks like. Now, I wanted to do some added support because right now the only thing I have holding these together is the glue, which is pretty strong, but this has a lot of weight. So as an added support, I cut these strips. These are leftovers from what I removed from here. Basically just cut that, cut one of these strips in half. And I'll put one one there, one on this end. And then I'm gonna screw these in at each section, just for that additional support. Now to hang this on the wall, I'm gonna drill some pocket holes in here where the screw can sit in. All right, so that's it for the American Flag Project. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like the information that I provide, please like and subscribe to my channel.